Uncle what? Richard's going to spare your tea's getting cold. What is he? Eggs, chips and mange too. My idea. Him's pig in pea pods. I ain't eating pea pods. Oh, what's so clever about not taking peas at the pig in pods? Dad had the bed seat three weeks ago and it's still there. Pig in hell. Shane, how old was you when you first did it? About average. What's average? 17, 18? Yeah. Which, 17 or 18? Can't remember. Shane, you ain't even 18 yet, so it must be 17. How come you can't remember? Well, I must have smoked loads of fags and drunk loads of beer the night, or did it? <laughs> you know what it's like. Wow, Shane, you must know everything about girls. <laughs> Mistaken, this point of ancient particular is shy in the specific gravity department by about 0.8. Give it here, our kid. Look at us now. Who'd have thought it, eh? You're a music teacher and me a successful publican. Thank our lucky stars we packed in them daft ideas about trying to start a pop group. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. yourself on a tricky dominoes move, did you? I'm surprised to see you with drinking hand, Douglas. You being an athlete and all. Lots of those sportsmen like yourself, Neville, think fitness is press-ups and marathons and stuff. It's not. It's how far you can boot a ball times the number of pints you can do before needing the toilet. So, by your reckoning, Olga Corbett, Olympic gymnastics champion, is less fit than Georgie Best. Do you know why it's compulsory to study PE in school? In case of a war. Being able to play three blind mice on the recorder wouldn't be much use against enemy artillery, would it? Drink up, Treacle. Don't miss the start of the film. Oh, that was great. A bit on the mountain where Clint had to cut the rope. Brilliant. Fried tag, you asshole. Doug, please, I've got some work to do. You can wait, can't you? It's for the school play. I've had a lovely evening. Thanks for walking me up. Night, Doug. What's in a name? That which we call a rose by any other name would smell as sweet. I take thee at thy word. Call me but love. And I'll be new baptised. Henceforth I never will be Romeo. He's no Montgomery Clift, is he? Now, Gordon, you know you can do better. Yes, miss. Let me try something, Sharon. Now, Romeo worships the ground that Juliet treads on. Oh, yes, miss. She means the earth to him. Right, let's go back from the top. <clears throat> I'll be some other name. What's in a name? That which we call a rose by any other name would smell as sweet. I take thee at thy word. Call me but love. Gordon, and... Gordon, who are you being? Well, I'm being a Shakespearean actor, miss. Be yourself. I want Gordon Grimley as my Romeo. Hmm. Me? Out of everyone. Some people might think I am the school spanner. But Geraldine thinks of me as a great lover. A sex machine like Shane Tickler. He does it 12 times a night without even taking off his flares. 
What about mom and dad? Did they do it? <coughs> do you play hockey, Grimley? No, sir. Do you play hockey and fancy Donny Osmond? No, sir. Do you play hockey, fancy Donny Osmond and their periods? No, sir. Yes, you do, Grimley. Because only girls want to be in a school play. <gasps> My bird would be wasting her time doing this stupid play if it wasn't for specky losers like you. So you're going to tell her you're packing it in or you're dead. No. What? No, I won't. Miss Titley's the first teacher who's ever bothered. <sighs> Turn that to the track. With pebbles in your shoes. I am not Gordon Grimley. I am Romeo. Yo gone mental, Gordon. It's called method acting. It's what all the best ones do. Why don't you pack the play in? Digby's gonna kill you if you don't. I could never let Miss Tiddley down like that. The play means the world to her. Gordon, this is obviously completely mental. But are you just doing this play to stop Miss Tiddley going out with Digby so she can fall in love with you? Don't be stupid, Dan. I beg Laurence Olivier's mum never force-fed him double pickle sandwiches. Now the field, rugby practice, go! Why haven't you lot changed? Sorry, sir. School play, sir. Forget that rubbish. We've got rugby practice every night. This is a year we win something. It's got to be. It's got to. We've got a note from Miss Titley, sir. Sorry, sir. 